At the Christian Science Monitor press breakfast, Bernie Sanders elaborated a little bit more on his spiritual beliefs. So he says he's proud to be Jewish, but he explains that he's not particularly religious. Quote, he says, I'm not particularly religious. So that's all we know. It doesn't mean that um, he necessarily doesn't believe in God. Um, that's probably not the case. But at a minimum, we at least know that he's 100% secular. And that's fantastic. That's that's a good thing because we want a president who is now going to base his uh, policy off of um, his religion. George Bush is the prime example um, that really shows us that you don't want a candidate who's going to base his or her beliefs off of the Bible or off of religion. He said that uh, it was God that influenced him to invade Iraq. Mm -mm. We can't have that. We can't have that for obvious reasons. So I'm glad that Bernie Sanders is coming out and saying that he's not particularly uh, religious. And this is good because atheists and the secular community, they're the most underrepresented community in the United States. Does anyone know, um, any of my viewers, do you know how much congressmen and women represent atheists or who are actually just an atheist? I'll give you the number. It's zero. None. Not a single one. But here's the caveat to this. If Bernie Sanders is in fact a non-believer, well, it may be smart for him not to directly say that because 40% of the country contends that they would not vote for an atheist president according to Gallup. Now, here's that actual poll. So atheists up until recently were considered the most unelectable group in the country for a very long time. However, socialists have now overtaken atheists, and they're now the most unelectable group, as 50% of the country contends that they would not vote for a socialist candidate. However, a different poll shows that 47% of Americans would vote for a socialist. So, one problem is that Bernie Sanders is often attributed the label of a socialist when technically he's more of a social democrat. Now, the problem with the word socialist in general is that it's, it's very vague, because it's more of a spectrum. I mean, we already have socialism in this country. One program that's a fantastic example of that is Medicare. So now, look, the good news is that with respect to Bernie Sanders, um, he does identify as Jewish, which is good because only 7% of the country say that they will not vote for a Jewish president. So what's the takeaway here? What am I getting at? Look, this is just another example wherein Bernie Sanders is being 100% honest. We already know that a majority of the country, I think 70%, is Christian. But he's not trying to pander to them. He's trying to win based off the substance of his policies. You see, if you don't have any substantive policies that you're trying to propose, then you've got to pander. You've got to say, look, I'm a Christian. I love Jesus. This is why you should vote for me. But Bernie Sanders doesn't have to do that because what he's doing is something that's principled. He's saying, look, this is why you should vote for me because I want to get money out of politics. I want free universal health care. I think that institutional racism should be stopped. A lot of people in the country, they don't vote based on that. Unfortunately, that's just a sad reality. So now, this indicates that Bernie Sanders is a member of the secular community. Um, so this is a win that the AAAD community, which is the atheist, anti-theist, a religious and agnostic and deist community, um, this is a win for them because they have a candidate that's actually, at a minimum, not going to try to destroy their rights and erode their rights. Because as we've seen, a lot of these candidates, even Barack Obama, one of the first things that he did was he... Um, he said that uh, he already authorized the National Prayer Day, which is a brazen violation of the First Amendment. But I mean, nonetheless, he's doing this so that way he can pander to voters and pander to people who may potentially be on the fence about him, but he wants to bring them in. So I like that Bernie Sanders is doing this. It just shows that he's brutally honest and he's not going to lie about his position on anything. At most, he won't give us really a straight answer when it comes to marijuana, for example, but he's indicated that he's in favor of at least decriminalizing marijuana, but he hasn't like explicitly and unequivocally stated that, look, I want marijuana to be legalized. But I don't think this is because he's trying to pull a Hillary Clinton and dodge the question. I think it's because he's genuinely mulling it over in his mind. And this is the candidate that you want to do that. You want them to think through these issues. You want them to think about the nuances. You want them to balance the pros and cons. Now, if Bernie Sanders' other policies... Um, or any indication he's going to come out on the right side with respect to marijuana. So, again, Bernie Sanders is showing why he's such a fantastic principled candidate.